Japanese weather officials are urging people in northern parts of the country to stay vigilant for flooding and mudslides as more heavy rain is forecast for Friday. The Japan Meteorological Agency says rain clouds have been flowing over Hokkaido and northern parts of the Tohoku region due to a low pressure system accompanied by a rain front. Western parts of Aomori Prefecture have been receiving heavy rainfall. The precipitation from Monday through 4 a.m. Friday reached 411.5 mm in Hirosaki City. Rainfall has been increasing in northern parts of Akita Prefecture, with Hapo Town registering 306 mm for the same period. Those are well above the average rainfall for the entire month of August. A mudslide alert is in place for parts of Aomori and Akita Prefectures. Rain will intensify in Hokkaido and Tohoku until shortly before noon on Friday. More than 50 mm per hour may hit northern Tohoku. The precipitation for a 24-hour period through Friday evening may climb to 200 mm in northern Tohoku and 120 mm in southern Tohoku and Hokkaido. A new round of extremely heavy rain is battering parts of northern Japan on August 10, 2022. The event comes just six days after more than 540,000 people were ordered to evacuate from the Tohoku and Hakuriku regions. A stalled front over Aomori and Akita prefectures has already poured record quantities of rain in the region, surpassing the normal for the entire month of August, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency, JMA.1 in Aomori prefecture, rainfall totaled 325 mm, 12.79 inches, in Fukora town, 202.5 mm, 7.97 inches, in Ajigasawa town, and 202 mm, 7.95 inches, in Akita's Hapo town up to 11 o'clock LT. All are record highs. Over the next 24 hours, northern Tohoku could receive another 120 mm, 4.72 inches, Hokkaido 100 mm, 3.93 inches, southern Tohoku 80 mm, 3.14 inches, and Naigata Prefecture 50 mm, 1.96 inches. Meteorologists say the rain front is likely to stay over or near northern Japan for the next seven days or so. Rain will temporarily weaken around Sunday, but strengthen again around Monday.